I am Ram, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today I am going to show you how can we check the space in use on Amazon Relational Database Service for Oracle Databases. Let's get started. All space in Amazon RDS for Oracle Databases is allocated as follows. Space allocation for Oracle Logs or other files. Space allocation for Databomb directory. Space allocation for temp table space and shrink to desirable size. Let's go through the steps you can take to check the space in use for your RDS for Oracle databases. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the RDS console. Then select the RDS for Oracle instance to get the endpoint details and port number from the connectivity and security tabs. Here I am going to connect through SQL developer and create a new connection to run the queries on the RDS for Oracle database. When the connection is established to the Oracle database, I will run several queries to check the space that is in use. First, check the space allocation for Oracle logs or other files. Check the Oracle log retention by using this command. Then calculate the space used by the Oracle logs by running the following query. Note, x is the Oracle log retention set in the RDS for Oracle instance. Replace x with the value reported in the previous query. If the space allocated for RK log is more than expected, then update the retention policy value. So you can then allow RDS for Oracle automation to clear older RK log files. The following example configures the RDS for Oracle instance to retain 24 hours of RK logs. Next, check the space allocation for the data pump directories. If the space allocated and data pump directory is more than expected, Check the available dump files that can be removed to free up the space. If this query finds dump files, consider deleting the unwanted files by running the following query. Replace the file name with the name of the dump files. Finally, check the space allocation for temporary table space. If the space that is allocated to temporary table space is more than expected, then use the following queries to further analyze the space used on your database. To view information about temporary table space usage, run the following query on the view dba underscore temp underscore free underscore space. To resize the temporary table space, for example, to 10 GB, run the following query based on the output of the table space usage query. Note, this command can fail if the table space has allocated beyond the 10 gig threshold. If the command fails, then shrink the space on the temporary table space by running the following command. To check for long running sessions that are performing active sorting to disk and have temporary segments allocated, run the following query. Based on the output, you can end the session if the application logic and business allow and retry resizing the temporary table space. If ending sessions is not an option, create a new temporary table space. Then Set the new table space as the default and drop the old temporary table space. Be sure to wait for a few minutes and verify if the default temporary table space for all users have been updated. So now you know how the space is allocated to RDS for Oracle databases. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.